Hello everyone. In this video I'll show fuel injector current for a 2003 Jeep Liberty. We'll have a scope capture of the current with a NOI light attached which causes a P0206 to set and also a capture when all injectors are operating properly. I'm working to learn as much as I can about scope testing. I've become very confident over the years in my use of the multimeter for most of my testing needs. Uh, that being said, hooking up a scope and testing with it really makes me think and learn more. If you want to learn something, you have to start doing it. Analyze what you've done and share what you've done with others. And also, I've got to be open to feedback, so I've got to swallow my pride and learn here from you guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys want me to make more videos about, whether it be scope testing, hooking up a scope, uh, testing with a meter. Um, just let me know. I'd like to make more videos for you guys. Let's go. I'm just doing this for testing purposes to try to learn the scope functions here, but... Orange and dark green, and they're wired, it feeds the injectors. And we're looking for C110, and actually C110 is for a 2.4, we have a 3.7, so you want to go and find terminal 1, orange and dark green, and C103. Diagrams I saw it looks like terminal number one should be this one right here. I'll go ahead and find that. screen capture of the injector current with the NOID light plugged in. Let's take a look at what you can see here. So as we see here, this looks like a lot. We can't really see a whole lot. This is what a scope does for us. It slows down the time so we can see what's going on. So here we go. Looking at this pattern, zooming in on it, we can clearly see a pattern here, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm missing one, one, two, three, four, five, missing one, which uh, makes perfect sense for a six cylinder vehicle. So let's take a look, zoom in a little closer here, and get a look at what we have. And here you'll see um, this is a normal injector current that ramps up in the coil, um, and you'll see this little spot right in here. Um, that's the injector pintle actually moving up and this is our noid light so because the noid light doesn't have a coil to resist the um, current flow and, and have a, a magnetic field building up the noid light is just a little ball that just the current just goes right up I'm assuming and I don't know about this but uh, correct me if I'm wrong if somebody knows out there but I'm assuming either one or two things the resistance in the bulb um, 
increasing as it heats up, which would cause a reduction in our current flow, or there's some sort of possibly a current limiting device built into the PCM. Um, if it sees too much of a, a, a rise in the injector current too fast, I really don't know, but this is just good to see so we know what's going on here. Um, as I said, the, the PicoScope is a very powerful tool. I'm just scratching the surface on it, literally here. Now let's take a look at the good file. And here we go. Let me see. Yeah, this is it. And this is our good pattern. And you see that uh, we're relatively all the same. It's so important that we start scoping cars and understanding what good looks like. And this vehicle is running smooth as a button. No problems. This is the injector current. And I can... But really, I think we're in great shape. And let me get this zoomed in so we can see what's going on. So, but if we just take one of these uh, waveforms and really crank in the zoom here, this here is the pintle going up. It's uh, the current's building and the pintle starts to go up. And then what you'll notice on the off section, when the current is turned off, when the, the computer commands the injector off and stops providing that ground, you don't have a pintle bump on the closing. You see a closing pintle bump on your waveform of injector voltage. You'll see that. I think I showed that in other videos of the Honda video. I hope you're learning something as I'm learning something. Uh, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions or what you guys want to see videos of in the comments below. Have a great day.